Okay, hello guys. I had an idea of creating a channel or a, some sort of series where I code stuff. It will probably be game focused and it will most likely all use SDL. I don't have a massive studio set up, I have a decent mic and I have a laptop. And I have a really noisy keyboard and I make weird breathing noises when I code. But you're gonna have to live with that. I Hopefully it will be educational. Uh, I did not plan ahead, so we're just going with it. There'll be some ums and me silence where I'm thinking, and we will have to check the API. Uh, I use Linux. This is a terminal within multiplexer called Tmux, so that I can have multiple terminals where I do different things and I can switch between them like this. Uh, my editor will be Vim and we'll start off with C and today I'll just show you how to how to set up SDL uh, I'm currently on Arch Linux so in my case you use no we don't need sudo this is something like this there it is you do pacman install SDL2 if you use Arch Linux or that I've, you'll know this on Ubuntu you do something like sudo apt install give SDL2 Dash dev. That should get you running. So let's go to the workspace. Let's make a directory. SDL2 C game. Uh, since this is just set up, I haven't decided. I'm going to make a simple game which we can finish in a reasonable time and I won't have to build anything fancy like linked lists or hash maps and stuff because that's annoying in C. We'll use C for that. Uh, but I'll figure that out later. It's not important for just getting the basics down. Uh, so uh, let's go to the SDL2 game. Uh, here I want a source directory. I like, because I'm damaged from work, I want an include directory. Which we probably won't need. Uh, so let's, let's drop that. <coughs> and that it? That's all for now. Vim source main dot C. Don't need to find others. Let's start with the obvious. Include SDL dot H. A wise man taught me that this is how you include SDL. So this is how we're going to do it. And we want a main file and it takes Argument count and list of strings. Standard C setup. I will explain some C as we go along, uh, but it will be basically the beginning, so I think you can figure it out. Uh, return zero, because everything is fine. Of course it's not, because we're not including this. So we have to figure out a bunch of stuff. So, what do we need? I would like to be able to make this with a make file. So let's do that. I know people have opinions about build systems, but uh, uh, yeah, let's just roll with make uh, the game until make no longer does what we need it to. That's sort of the point. So. C objects here here comes the fancy stuff uh, objects will be uh, pat substitution pattern substitution source slash dot C to uh, let's put it in a folder object so we don't mix uh, I will explain this one. It also needs the sources of this. So let's take a look at this. Pat subst pattern substitution. Uh, this pattern source slash something dot c is replaced with this pattern object 
slash something dot o. It's looking at it like this, it's pretty clear that whatever is matched by the uh, percentage sign will will appear in the replacement substring. And we're applying this to source, and this should allow us to have many files here. Uh, but we're not there yet, so let's just do the one. Now we need some C flags, and we need to expand those immediately. I think it's like this shell. Yes, sdl config C flags. That's it. Uh, we want some warnings for that, don't we? Flags plus equals all and the debug flag. Why not? Uh, LD flags is now that should insta expand shell sdl2 config lips. I think that's it. Don't need one any more of those. Let's do the all one. Sec. I know my keyboard is loud, you'll just have to live with it. I'll try to talk clearly. Oh, let's, let me go through these. C flags is what we're going to use for the compiler. It will be flags which tells the compiler stuff. It's like in this case, uh, I can show you this command. Uh, SDL2 config e flags will give me the flags for my operating system which are useful for compiling SDL2. Config and uh, libs is the other one. It was just okay, so. Uh, SDL2 is located in user lib and we need p threading and the library SDL2. <coughs> uh, with this thing here, we expand that command into the variable C flags. The colon equals denotes that it should expand immediately. Equals, it would kind of keep the shell line until it was like eventually needed. This tells it do this logic now, put it in Z flags. Uh, all is just if you type make, it will trigger the all one. Phony is to tell make that there is never a file called all, so don't wait for it. Or if we create a file called all, it won't mess up make. And this should make the X, X yeah, like that. Uh, now we need to make the object. This and if I'm not mistaken, I keep forgetting how to do this. We start with object dot o get produced from source dot c. Uh, this essentially tells make that to make the object files which come from here we can convert C files to object files using the following, which will be CC for the compiler, uh, C flags for the C flags, and compile this file, and output this file. These are out auto these are auto variables uh, defined from the line above, so to speak. So this is the source file. Sorry. Uh, yeah, the source file. And this will be the destination file. CC is GCC in this case. Maybe we would change that in the future. I don't know. Uh, C flag tells us just compile an object file. Don't compile a full executable. So now let's tell CMake how to make so our executable. The thing is, it's kind of done writing uh, just in one go. Like in your life, make one really solid make file and then use that for every project. <laughs> that's, that's the best thing to do. Because it will, it will work. You'll be able to have it forever. And this takes a 
make it flex. This is essentially the same. You can make the executable uh, from these objects using this command. And this is wrong, this should be an output. Oh, sorry. something missing here. Yeah. This folder dot object we need to do the search. Folder dot object we can't guarantee that that exists can we so make directory p dot object. Oh, that should suffice. Let's see if we can make, make. oh how nice, and it created a nice game file for us. That was nice, and it does nothing. Everything's fine. Source main, and we have, maybe we should just, oh yeah, I'm going to fix this too. So, um, compile flags, is it, no, TXT. Uh, this is nothing that everybody needs. It's something I need to tell my editor to behave. Uh, we can probably read. Still to config. C flags. This. Ah. What do you put the shop noise? You do like this. Uh, one th so this is telling my editor, uh, them in this case, that these are the compile commands we'll be using. And if I open the file now, it won't complain. And I can even jump into this file. So that's perfect for living with. Uh, include uh, io. And let's just put something so we know it's working. It's alive. New line. And make game. Yeah. That's it. I just realized one thing which is going to annoy the hell out of me. And that's all. We'll also want a run. Which depends on the ex executable. And it does dot slash executable and it's phony phony run and so now we can do make run and if we touch source main to give it a new date we can make run and it should build it before we end it runs it so that's nice main. this should allow me to run from inside room. That's nice. That'll help. Anything else? Anything else? No. This should be it. Next episode we'll create our game loop and I'll decide what game we make. So, see you then.